This is the biggest buck I've ever seen. <laughs> the antlers are so big. This is, he's not afraid. He's just peacefully walking away. He is definitely confident. There are actually two of them. I didn't even notice that, but they are huge. Well, the first one had the bigger rack. That is so cool. This is kind of sad to see, but super impressive that it's all down trees and blowdowns down there. It's all dead with just like a few younger trees growing up in between. It's super bright and sunny out, but um, I'm hearing some thunder from the clouds over there. There's a whole lightning storm happening there and the wind's really picked up. More thunder. And then the wind's just whistling through the trees so loud. All the noises and the storm coming sounds really creepy. It's like a almost like a horror film like like atmosphere happening right now. It's uh definitely kind of puts you at like unease. I really don't want to get up out of bed today. I'm so worn out. I just want to sleep. There was a lot of lightning last night and thunder, but no rain. And it started smelling smokier. And it still smells kind of smoky now, but I was kind of worried that there was like a fire that started. I didn't get much sleep. <sighs> I'm so sleepy right now. But I still gotta make those miles. I made sure to get all the moths out of my tent this time. There's just been like a lot of moths in general, but um, they're like going in the little creases here where my tracking poles go. And uh, when sitting at my tent this morning, I learned that there were several uh, moths still in my tent. And they were still alive, so they spent the whole day wrapped up in my tent, in my pack like just getting kind of smushed you can even see some of the powder from the uh, moths so i uh made sure to double check to make sure i'm not taking any moth hitchhikers going for a terrible full day ride now that i can kind of see off in the distance between the trees it is way smokier than it has been on the trail this is like the worst smoke i've seen so far wow Oh man, these mushrooms look like pancakes, like thick, fluffy pancakes. I just want to like put a pad of like butter on there and drizzle that in syrup. That looks super tasty, <laughs> even though I know it's not, but yeah, very pancake-like. Okay, this is a pretty cool one. This is huge. Unfortunately, someone stabbed it, but... That is, like, here's my, my shoe. That is a huge thing. It's like a pillow. This is Pantler's Pass. I was a butt kicker to get up here. It's a pretty big climb. Not the worst I've had, but still, I'm just exhausted from this. Well, I just passed Johnson Lake, and that is the end of the second to last section on, uh, Got hooks now far out. Um, so I am now on the last section, the last section of maps. It's kind of cool to see that. And I have under 500 miles left to the Canadian border. <laughs> All right, this is Rainbow Pass. I am so beat. Today is just always uphill, downhill, uphill. 2,000 feet to the next pass, straight downhill, over and over and over again, and I am so sweaty. I have sweat dripping down my face, like way worse than uh, it has been in a while. Like, this is an ass kicker. Now, all the way back down, just to go all the way up and over the next pass, I am beat. Any quails and babies? It's the mom up there. 
Like, I feel like they're so close I could practically just grab them. There's so many of them. So I am having a bit of a problem. In uh, 2019, um, I injured this foot. Um, I jumped on a rock and I overextended this knuckle and went like really fast. And I thought I broke my foot. It was in so much pain. Um, but it kind of went away while I was hiking. But um, every now and then since then, um, this has been in a lot of pain. Just, I, uh, it was a while after I got back home, but I did have it x-rayed. And uh, it's not broken or anything. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. But, um, like... It occasionally came up, but then it's usually just like it hurts a few times if I move my foot in the wrong way and put weight on it. Um, and it was doing that since yesterday, but now it's gotten to the point where it actually had me in tears and I like was just like suddenly gasping or actually yelled out at some point. Like it doesn't hurt right now, but I'm kind of afraid to continue to walk on it. Like, uh, like I could move it. It's just. I mean, it's kind of sore when I do it, like, move this toe like that, but I, uh, I'm not sure what's going on because that was so painful. I, um, I'm not really, I have no idea. I have no idea exactly what happened to it or why it's still hurting like this. Um, I, uh, hope I could walk out of here. I hope it doesn't get worse than this. But I took more pain killers and then I'm gonna put some like ointment on the skin to hope to hopefully help I don't know we'll see so there's a spider right here I've been standing around trying to take a nice picture of it it was hard to focus on and stuff and then it turned around and squirted something at me like I think I avoided it but it just like squirted something at me um yeah it's a little terrifying <laughs> I think it was really unhappy with me. I did some AT level leaf engineering here to get some water.